Jessica's in a similar situation as our pal Tim from the previous Learn It video. She also owes $1,000 on her new credit card with a 19% APR, doesn't want to make any other charges on the card until she can pay off the debt. However, unlike Tim, she wants to pay more than the minimum payment and sets aside $200 each month to pay off the card. After five months, how much will she have paid in interest so far and how much will she still owe on the card? We've then got the same formulas to calculate interest and balance for each month. Making a mini amortization table for the first five months will help us outline how much interest and balance Jessica will have for a credit card each month. To calculate interest for the first month, let's use the first formula. 19% APR as a decimal is 0.19, then divided by 12 to get a monthly rate equals 0 0.0158. The monthly rate of 0 0.0158 times the original balance of 1000 equals 15.83, which is actually the same as Tim's interest from the first video, which makes sense since they are starting off with the same original balance. Now I can use the second formula to calculate the new balance. I first need to add the original amount owed to the interest owed. So 1,000 plus 15.83 is $1,015.83. In contrast to Tim though, Jessica wants to make higher monthly payments. So we can subtract her monthly payment of $200 from that sum. 1,015.83 minus 200 equals 815 and 83 cents, which is Jessica's new balance after she makes her payment. Now we can repeat this process for months two through five, but remember to use this new balance for next month's calculations. Go ahead and solve for Jessica's interest and balance for month two. If we repeat this process for the remaining months, we'll find that the amortization table will look like this. We can add all the values in the interest column to see how much interest she has paid so far. When we add up all the interest amounts, we get $49.46. So, after five months, Jessica will have paid $49.46 in interest and will only owe $49.76, which means she'll pay off her credit card in month six. Compared to Tim's monthly payments, we can definitely see the dangers of only paying the minimum payment because of compound interest continue on to the practice problems to further explore how this works.